Good morning, everybody. Um, I am currently in the bed. It's like 7.30 in the morning. And I just wanted to chat for a minute. Um, I woke up and ate some crackers because my stomach was feeling a little hungry. So I guess I'll make myself something to eat real quick before the kids get up. Um, so I have time to like eat and relax and chill for a minute. My boo left last night, so that was kind of sad. We actually thought his flight was tonight, but then we were sitting and watching this movie. If you, I mean, not a movie. It was. It's a. It's like a long. It's a limited series on Netflix called. Um, I want to say it's called Talk to Me, but it's not called that. I'll get the name and I'll get back to y'all on that. But we were watching this limited series and we we're like binging it. And then he got a notification. He's like, oh crap, my, my flight's tonight. And I was like, I could have sworn I asked you that like the day before yesterday. It is currently Saturday. I need to put my nail back on. I fell off. I've been lazy. Um, put, keep, put having these lashes on is literally the only thing I've done the last few days. I haven't even, I don't even think I've put a wig on. And I really need to install another wig for a hair video, but good child i'll get to it today so it is officially saturday and um so the kids go back to school i think on tuesday so that's cool i'm glad for these kids to go back to school just because it's very hard for me to get stuff done during the week when they're home um so i don't know maybe we'll have a movie night or something we i don't feel like we've done that in a minute so maybe we have like a little movie night i just want to chill like i don't want to go anywhere i don't want to like get dressed and do anything but i don't mind like doing a cool like movie night tonight just to, like hang out and watch something as a family honestly i need some more like little trays for me to do my little movie night snacks on so at some point i might run to dollar tree but just pushing it <laughs> i know my last vlog i had told you guys that i was like freaking out about the baby because um like nausea like I feel like my nausea had went away and it's actually not gone <laughs> so we're good yeah we're good it's not gone but it, it did like it wasn't as bad for a couple of days and it freaked me out but it is back so I think we're fine yeah I'm not I'm no longer concerned so um I'm trying to hold this oh, I'm trying to hold this camera steady but anywho so i have a dilemma it's always something okay i am very very concerned that this is another boy because i have been having dreams all month well for the last few weeks that i'm having a boy i think i've mentioned this in a live stream the other day that i had a dream that um, i was at an ultrasound and it was a boy well last night I had another dream, but this dream, I had a dream that I was having, I went and got blood work done. I was having twins and it came back, I was having twins and that they were both boys. Now, although I know there's only one baby in there, or at least I'm pretty sure, unless another one was hiding somewhere, which is possible, but I'm pretty sure it was, it's just one baby. But the boy thing is really starting to, and in this, so my first dream, it, I was like disappointed. Like I felt my disappointment, but I was like, oh, it's okay. Like, you know, whatever. And I know that no matter what I have, I'm going to love it. Like if it's a boy, it's fine. Like I'm going to love it. You know, I'm going to love my son just like I love my other sons, you know. But, you know, we all have, we all have our, our hopes, okay. And so I really want a girl. So in this dream last night, though, I was so disappointed like I I wouldn't even focus on the fact that there was two babies in the dream I was focused on the fact that it was neither one of them were a girl I'm like how are both of them a boy like what kind of odds is that like what I wanted a girl at this point I'm starting to just feel like God is trying to tell me and get me prepared for the fact that this is this baby is about to be a boy I at this point that's just how I feel so I'm okay like either way I'm trying to like be okay my anxiety is on 10 though um i will find out i'm gonna get my i think it's called a nip test i'm gonna go and get that test done but not until not for a couple of weeks so i'm like really impatient so i, I get to google it you know listen don't be like me sis but i'm being honest like this is how i feel right now so i get to google and i'm like what does it mean when you're having a dream all the time like constantly about having a boy which 
you know, I, I'm a big believer in dreams, okay? okay? Especially when you keep having them. So, um, anyway, I get to search it and Sneak Peek pops up. I don't know if you guys have heard of Sneak Peek. Sneak Peek is like a company where they do like um, genetic testing. I mean, not genetic testing. They do um, gender testing. And so basically you pay a fee and then they'll send you like a box with a vial you poke yourself you take some blood you send it to them and then within a few days they upload your results and they eat or they email you your results so i looked also looked up to see how accurate like it was or like how accurate yeah how many people said like you know the reviews basically to see like okay is this worth a hundred dollars and it looks like it is like sometimes people's tests were wrong but for the most part i feel like they were right from all the reviews that i saw um so I was like, it's worth a shot because my anxiety will not let me rest. Like it will not let me just wait, even though like I don't have to wait that long to find out. I can't wait. I'm The dreams is what's causing my anxiety to be worse. OK, pressure is getting worse. OK, like my anxiety, this pregnancy has been on 10 and I've been trying to just pray and be calm just breathe you know what i'm saying so if there's any mommies out there that's pregnant right now girl you're not alone because i feel like that right with you okay um but what was i gonna say i'm also gonna get a fetal doppler just because i've never done it i told myself this pregnancy is gonna be the pregnancy that i'm gonna do all the things i've never done why not you know what i'm saying so um why not do the sneak peek why not never done it so that's basically um where i'm at right now so i just ordered it this morning hopefully i'll get it by monday i will record the whole process and we'll see together what it's gonna be that's that's exciting um well or will i reveal the results i probably will take the test with you guys and won't tell you guys the results yet because i want to see if it's accurate like i'll wait until uh, you know, I get my nip test back and we'll see together if it was right. Somebody's waking up. It's one of the little ones. Probably they always wake up first. Who is it? Yeah, it's Kingston. He wants his phone back. Um, so I'm gonna give that to him. But yeah, y'all, that's where we at right now. I'm about to start watching my show again before the kids get up. And the show is called Fool Me Once on Netflix. It's really good. It's basically about this um, army vet um, lady woman whose husband and sister were mysteriously murdered like within months of each other I don't want to spoil it but like you know it gets crazy it's all kinds of twists and turns so basically she's just trying to figure out and investigate who could be behind this like it's some some sort of like you know her husband's family was very 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 rich hi guys there's Kingston he's bringing me water thank you I was telling him about this show but um yeah Huh? The show good? Yeah, it's really good. It's like a murder mystery type show. But anyway, that's basically it. If you are looking for something to watch this weekend, I suggest watching that. I don't know how many episodes it has. It's a limited series. So probably, you know, after I'm hoping after this, they won't try to come up with another. I don't think do limited series have like part twos. I think sometimes they do, don't they? Or is that like Netflix's new thing? I don't know. Netflix be changing stuff up so much I can't keep up. But I usually use like my, my free my free website to watch movies on. But all the movies that I want to see, they don't have streams for yet. So my streamer girlies get what I'm saying. You know, you get it. You gotta. I don't gotta, I don't gotta explain it to you. Already know. Anyway, I'm about to watch this show. Um, my, my boo landed safely and texted me and was like, "I miss you already." I'm like, "Miss you too." <laughs> It is literally way later in the day and I have decided, like I've been feeling blah all day, like tired. And I know it's just probably the pregnancy, but I am needing to like get up. I went outside for a little bit to get some fresh air and I was like, I quickly decided that was a bad idea because it's cold. It was like 30 degrees, in, but it looked beautiful, gorgeous, looked like a, like a gorgeous winter day, sunny and everything. But freezing so i quickly rethought that idea and came back inside so i just been kind of like hanging out on tiktok just trying to relax but i kind of am feeling like a tad bit light lightheaded 
I ran out of prenatal, so I went and got some more. My kids are playing, by the way, and I just gave them all an ice cream cone before dinner because it's one of those nights where I'm just going to throw a couple party pizzas in, well, not a couple, like a lot of party pizzas, like the little mini Totino's ones in the oven, give everybody one of those, and that's one of those types of nights. So I really don't care. But it's also Saturday. Just because I feel blah does not mean, like, they have to feel blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we all needed to pick me up. I also got me some ice cream and some mango sorbet popsicles, but... Um, like my stomach is not about to let me enjoy that. Like really good, really creamy, but my stomach was like, baby girl, get it, get, get, get it together. We don't, we don't want this. That's the struggle with being pregnant. Like you might think you want something or have a taste for something, or you might even be hungry, but don't know what you want to eat. And then like, when you think you might know what you want and you get that, you're like, I don't really want this for real. So it's really a problem, but that's been my problem lately anyway and then like i'll see somebody eat something online i'm like oh i have to have that right now like i saw somebody eating wings now i want wings like i was saying i ordered some more prenatals and i got these ones and make sure you do the pots um but i haven't tried the ollies i had another brand that was like honestly thirty dollars because i ended up getting it from kroger i do not like buying vitamins from there but um, I, I just needed them at the time, but I just recently ran out of them. So I was like, let me get the Ollie ones. Um, they have folic acid and DHA. I don't know if these ones have iron in them. I don't think gummies have iron. I believe they don't have iron in them. I don't think I have an issue with my iron. So that's probably okay. But they do have the folic acid and the DHA. And it says gentle on stomachs, probably because it doesn't have iron in it. So I think you have to take... Two gummies, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that. Damn, I gotta make sure nobody get in any. And then I haven't been drinking enough water. Like I'm, I'm gonna be honest and say that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take drink two bottles of water. Another thing that I'm going to do is, and also like I had a coffee. I did get up and and get up. That's the one thing I did do today was go get a coffee from Starbucks, even though I know better. Like, don't do that. Oh, these smell kind of funny. A little rough, a little, little chewy. They're good though. They're good. I like them. Real lemon berry. They're good. Tastes like fruit snacks. So, when I don't feel good or I feel lightheaded or I start to feel like real drained, I know because it's because I've had too much caffeine and not enough water. So, replenishing right now you guys know my boo just went back from um from he just went back home and i am now like just trying to get me together because i feel like i have been doing holiday stuff the kids and all that other stuff and i haven't really had a chance to like really do me i'm walking around with no wig on just a bonnet i've been looking like this all week and um i'm just tired of looking like that so i'm gonna do that's probably another reason why i feel like blah so as tired and sick as I feel, I'm still going to get up and like take a shower and do all my stuff. So I'm going to do this mask and then I'm going to do some eye patches, which I think these glow in the dark. I really need to do a wig install for a promo. I've been putting it off because I haven't felt like getting myself together. I know it sounds bad and it's not even like me, girl. It's just the pregnancy. Like I'm sick. I'm nauseous. So it makes me not want to do anything. And when I, I just I feel like the only time I have a burst of energy is in the morning it doesn't last long and then i'm i'm tired like i kind of could lay down and go to sleep right now but i'm gonna make myself push through because i'm not so nauseous you know where you get so nauseous you can't physically function like all you can do is like lay down but i did um talk to my doctor the other day she did give me some tips that were for like non prescription so if you guys don't want zofran which is the prescription and she said she would prescribe that i just don't feel like i need it yet i can manage it at home I got a thing with medicine, y'all. Don't, don't get me started. But my doctor did say that you can take B6 over, like, over B6, I think 25 to 50 milligrams. I would have to look on the paper that she gave me. But you can take B6 every few hours throughout the day, and it helps settle your stomach. Or she said um, Unisom, but it's like that makes you sleepy. But she said if you take it at night, it, like, helps your stomach during the day. Um, so, but I'm not, I'm not really big on medicines that make me sleep because I have kids <laughs> and I want to make sure that I'm not knocked out so hard to where I can't hear them or whatever you know what I mean but 
the B6, I do have a B6 here, but it's like a thousand or 2000 milligrams. Like it's a lot. It's like the high dosage ones. So I don't know if that'll be something I can use, but I might try it. Again, every time you have a baby, it's something new because like Onyx was, f well, I was pregnant five years ago. So it's a lot of, a lot of shit changes in five years, you know, in the medical world. So anyway, I've never been told that before. So just in case one of you guys have never been told that, but you are going through what I'm going through right now, nausea, try some B6, girl. Try some B6. A low dose. And you can take it a few times a day, she said. Don't quote me on that. Of course, I'm not a doctor. Contact your physician first, but do your own research. That's what I heard, okay? That's my doctor told me. And then, um, but I've been trying to just manage. Like, it hasn't been, I've been blessed. Like, it hasn't been super bad. I've had some pregnancies where my nausea was like, freaking horrible i think it's just a more of like i'm a, i'm sleepy i'm tired like i'm more drained than anything but i'm still nauseous hot showers help me too they have been helping with my stomach and just making me feel better so i'm gonna take a hot shower switch out of this big t-shirt and we'll see how i feel if i feel like putting a wig install after i do my facial my face care and everything i will but i might just wait till tomorrow and kind of get myself together hop in the bed and like watch a movie eat some ice cream relax like i i really have been trying to relax this weekend um yeah i don't want to do anything so because next weekend i promise the kids we're gonna do something don't know what yet but we're gonna get out and do something I'm trying to do it at least two to three weekends a month but well, good morning, you guys. So, I went to sleep last night. I did. Um, I did do my under eye patches, but I I cleansed in the shower, so I didn't decide not to do the facial cleanser because I used almond milk, um, like an almond milk cleansing bar for my face, and I felt my face felt real sensitive after I got done like scrubbing it and stuff. So I was like, ah, I'm not gonna add any like chemicals to it. I'm just gonna do shea butter, and I did my caffeine under eye patches which i think did did their job because your girl you know i woke up and my eyes were they're not like super puffy they're not super dark or anything like they can get sometimes so yeah i think it, they did good this was only like two or three dollars at walmart so today is sunday and i'm gonna probably wrap this up and get it posted for you guys because it's really just me lounging around the house things i need to do today are what I need to do today. I have literally been in this bonnet and pajamas <laughs> this entire fucking vlog. Listen, listen, listen. I'm trying to make sure this is a water bottle that I had last night that I didn't finish. So I'm trying to finish it, but I had another one already. So I'm trying to do. Don't aren't you supposed to have like a gallon of water a day, girl? I don't know. I mean, I have my soda waters, but I don't count that. I don't drink a lot of juice or soda unless, like, I'm really not feeling good. But um, then I'll drink, like, ginger ale or Sprite or something like that. Or Squirt. I love Squirt. But I've been trying to make sure. Because sometimes I'll do. No. no, the movie's for later, baby. No, the coloring still. Okay, I'll deal with them. You guys get the trash up, like, this box right here. Movie night's going to be later. I have to pick a movie for that. I don't, I don't know what movie we're going to do, but it's going to be later on. Okay? No, we could do. I don't know. My boo called me and then we were talking. We ended up start talking about the baby and like um just baby related stuff like what we're having and and or what we want and how we think the baby's gonna look, all that stuff. Anyway, meanwhile I was chowing down on some noosa and now I feel better. I feel better. Like I was nauseous, but I was like, I'm gonna make myself eat a little something and I feel okay. So I think that's really going to be the name of the game for me is to try to like snack a little bit throughout the day. So we'll try that. But anyway, I put my lashes on too, y'all, when I was on the phone. So I'm feeling like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, if I could get this bag off my head. And I'm just playing. I'm, I'm going to be wearing it regardless. Even if I had a wig on, I'd probably just put this on top of it. I'm going to install this wig real quick. And then I'm just going to relax. I really have nothing else to talk to y'all about. I also kind of touched up my eyebrows a little bit, but I, I really want them to grow out so I can get them threaded. I'm not the best eyebrow doer, archer, whatever. So look at my cute little cup, you guys. I got this from Kroger. It's so it's glass and it's got the little wooden top. I just think this is so cute. It doesn't hold a lot, but it's adorable. This would be really cute for like iced coffee, but I'm trying to. Oh, shit. 
I'm about to drop it. <laughs> I'm trying to hold back on the uh on the caffeine. So um yeah, I've been and plus I feel like if I have something cute to drink my water out of, it'd make me want to drink more water. I don't have a problem drinking water, it's just I have a problem drinking just water. You know what I'm saying? And it has to be like and my water has to be really, really ice cold, so it has to be filled with ice. Crushed ice preferably. Or that good ice from Sonic, you know what I'm saying? Or Chick-fil-A. You know what I'm talking about. Also, are you guys following me on TikTok? Because I'm going to start doing like a, like a mini series. um, Just talking about pregnancy and like motherhood and just like all things baby kid related on my TikTok. I'm also going to be uploading like some of the recipes that will be on my cooking channel over there on TikTok. So I didn't know how to hole in this shirt. This is why it's pajamas. It doesn't matter. The most holy, the holiest things are most comfortable. I had on some pajamas the other day. Side note, I had some pajamas on the other day and they have a hole like right by on the ass cheek. And those are my most comfortable pajamas. I love the set and it's raggedy now, but I love it. I need to buy another one. And my bae was like, do you have a hole in your pants? And I was like, yes, I do. Don't talk about it. I love these pajamas. He was like, okay. <laughs> like, I just act like, buy your business, okay? So, anyway, if you want to follow me on TikTok, please do. I'm going to be putting a plethora of things on there. Some, some, some things that make me on here and some things that might not. So, you know what I'm saying? You never know. I think I'm going to end this vlog here because... I really need to um, get some stuff done. And I'm while I have a little burst of energy, I'm going to get it recorded so that when I'm tired and sick and I want to lay down, I can edit in the bed. And plus, also tonight is movie night. I need to figure out what I'm making for the kids and what movie we're going to watch that everybody can like enjoy. Both the little ones and the big ones. I usually, I wish I could do like Aquaman or something. But last time I checked, like, I couldn't get that one on my thing. I might be able to. I'll check it out. But, yeah, y'all, that's it for now. Strong mommy Chrissy. She's a queen. If you're rocking.